الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو انادر لیکچر آن ورک اسٹڈی اینڈ میتھڈس انجینئرنگ وی آر آن ماڈیول ٹو دیٹ از میتھڈ اسٹڈی اور آپریشنز انالیسز ان پریویس سیشنز وی ڈسکسڈ اے نمبر آف چارٹس اینڈ ڈائگرامس ٹو شو دا ڈیٹیلس آف اے پروسیس وی ڈسکسڈ آؤٹ لائن پروسیس چارٹ وی ڈسکسڈ فلو پروسیس چارٹ وی ڈسکسڈ ورکر مشین چارٹ وی ڈسکسڈ فلو ڈائگرام اینڈ مینی ادر ٹولس Today we are going to discuss a very important tool that shows us the details of the whole system, starting with the supplier, supplying the raw material and ending with the customer being supplied with the finished product. So that tool is called value stream mapping. So here we draw the whole value stream. So at the end of this lecture, you should be able to recall the difference between value added and non-value added activities that we discussed in the first module. You should be able to understand what a value stream is and what a value stream map is. You should be able to understand and use the steps in mapping a value stream. So you should be first familiar with different icons and symbols actually that we will discuss to draw a value stream map. And then we will draw the current state Uh, of VSM and you should be able to understand how to move from current state to future state and you should be aware of a number of tools of lean actually to move from current state to future state. So a value stream is all the activities both value added and non-value added required to bring a product from order to delivery. So That is very important that we, we map everything from order to delivery. The value stream is made up of all functions and stakeholders who need to work in harmony to provide the product or service. So uh, the value adding activities are the activities for which the customer is paying you and the rest of the activities are non-value adding or or waste. We focus more on muda when we are talking about uh, the non-value adding activities, but uh, mura, uh, unevenness or unbalanced uh, system or a process, and muri that is uh, excessive or overburdened uh, system or, um, or activities. Uh, requiring excessive effort are also actually non-value adding uh, in the long run. I mean, Mura and Muri in the long run do produce some, some Muda or some type of waste. So VSM actually helps us identify not only Muda, but also uh, Mura and Muri. So these are the simple steps uh, in VSM. So we first draw the current state, then based on some discussions and brainstorming and critical analysis, and with the help of application of some lean tools, we move to the future state VSM. So the more detailed and more accurate the current VSM is, the better uh, are the chances of the improvement of the system. So first we draw the current state VSM, then we move to the future state and finally to the next future state and this is an ongoing process. So these are the steps to be followed. So first of all, we have to select one value stream, one product family. So if the organization is making more than one product family, so we have to select one product family. Then walk the physical flow of the material no data collection. So this is sometimes called uh, Gemba walk. Gemba is the sh shop floor or where the activities are being performed. So just to get familiar with what is actually going on, you, uh, you just walk along the process and observe what is going on. And no, dot, no data collection is done. Then walk the flow again and collecting the data. So we will see what type of data is required Uh, it relates to process times, change over time, 
work in process inventory, etc. Then based on the data collected, we draw the current state map. There are certain standard symbols and icons to be used in VSM that we will discuss. And once the current state has been drawn, we identify the opportunities to eliminate waste and create flow. That is actually one of the major goals of VSM uh, to, to create smooth flow in the system. Then draw the future state map. So actually moving uh, from this current state to future state actually requires a lot of brainstorming and uh, identification of the opportunities for improvement. And uh, based on that, actually the future state is drawn. Then we generate a value stream plan, how we can move to, to uh, future state from the current state. Then actually here we start making improvements based on the uh, future map that we made. And then we keep on conducting value stream reviews and this cycle is repeated. And so, so this is an ongoing process. So this is a very important tool of lean. So lean is not a state, but it's a, it's a culture, it's a system. So uh, it's a never ending process. So we keep on improving the system. So the current, uh, uh, state is a is a, a benchmark is a is a baseline actually for drawing the future state. But once we reach the future state, it becomes the current state for next future state and so on. So this is a, just a schematic of a VSM. So on the very right side, we draw the draw the customer, and then at the center is the planning department of the uh, organization, the central organization in the VSM, or that is the nucleus firm. On the left most side, we have the uh, supplier. And of course, there are many symbols and icons that we will discuss later. So the VSM is started with the customer on the right, upper right corner in this case. The information flow is, uh, uh, shown using arrows. So information is flowing from a customer to this uh, nucleus organization and from this organization to, to its suppliers and as well as to different departments of this uh, nucleus organization. The material flow uh, is within, within the organization is shown using these arrows sort of black and white arrows and material flow outside the organization from supplier to the organization or the supply of the finished product from the organization to the customer is shown using arrow like this. And there are the icons uh, for the inventory uh, between the processes. So we will go through these icons later, but uh, this is the structure of the VSM. So we have the customer, we have the supplier, we have the production control department of the organization and different departments of the organization are drawn below and the flow is shown from left to right. Inventory is shown between the processes along with this push symbol. And then we have the data box that shows details related to each process, its cycle time, change over time, et cetera. And finally, we have the timeline that shows the uh, waiting time at the top of the uh, at the top of this timeline, and the value added time um, at the bottom of this timeline. So we will not discuss all symbols, but the ones that we will need to draw the current state. So this symbol is customer or supplier icon. It represent, represents the supplier when in the upper left and customer when in the upper right corner. This is the symbol for process, uh, a process operation machine or department through which material flows. Then this is the symbol for data box. So it goes under other icons that have significant information data required for analyzing and observing the system. So generally it is drawn under the process icon to show the cycle time, change over time, batch size, availability, et cetera, related to that process or machine. 
again, we are not discussing all symbols, but only the ones that we will require. This is the inventory icon, generally a triangle with a capital I. So it shows inventory between two processes or work in process inventory. This arrow is the shipment icon. It, it represents movement of raw material from suppliers uh, to receiving docks of the factory or the movement of finished goods from the shipping docks of the factory to the customers. So it is used for both raw materials and finished goods. Then we have this push arrow icon. It represents the pushing of material from one process to the next process. And again, I'm skipping few require at the moment. Then we have this external shipment icon, shipments from supplier or to customers. So from supplier to the organization or from organization to the customers. Then we have this uh, production control icon. So this represents a central production scheduling or control department, person or operation. Then we have this manual information icon. So a straight thin arrow shows general flow of information from memos, reports, or conversation. Then we have this electronic information icon. So this wiggle arrow represents electronic flow, such as the electronic data interchange, the internet, lands or vans. So some electronic means is used to, uh, to communicate uh, information. This is the icon for operator. It represents an operator or worker. It shows the number of operators required to process the VSM family at a particular workstation. Then we have this timeline icon. It shows value added times or the cycle times and non value added or wait times. So uh, this is used to calculate lead time and total cycle time. So that is very important icon because it gives us very important information uh, using a VSM. So we have discussed some basics of uh, VSM and its icons and symbols. In the next session, we will discuss ACME stamping case study and see how we can draw current VSM.